can I kiss you? Can I kiss your bottom lip? How's the volume? But we're more than friends, though. To you. Ooh! No. So, Ooh, this volume is great. To South oh, this volume is awful. And, uh, then we're gonna do the go home thing. Um, you're really fun to be on a date with. Whatever this is, is this a date? This is a date ish, right? Oh, it's been quite amazing, fun. If you want to put like a kiss in this area, I'm okay with that. You know what's crazy? Look at Skippy's like face right now. If Skippy, Skippy went to the gym and just learned he was autistic or whatever he is, he's obviously neurodivergent of some kind. Come on. Like, I bet he would flourish. I bet he would flourish. But she doesn't, apparently. Okay. <laughs> The night ended with an average hug. I'll never see her again. She's moving to Hawaii. It's not because of me, I think. Mm, is she moving to Hawaii? Can I say something? Uh, who wrote this? Rock Paper says, my bestie is a stray man girl. I had to teach him when to, wa when to wash his hands. Let me tell you. I'm not, I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to cast judgment. But so many women I know do not wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. I went to the restaurant with a friend one time and I'm sitting there washing my hands and we're talking. And as I'm washing my hands, I'm like looking at her and she is not going for the sink, girls. There was an extra sink. And I was like, and I'm waiting. So here's the thing I do, which is maybe not the best thing, but I'm sorry. It's not my business how you do your thing, your life. If my friends do something, I don't call it out. If my, even like my siblings, maybe because I'm their older sister, but even then, like everyone is weird in their own way, right? So legit, my girlfriend gets out of the stall and like just totally doesn't wash her hands. Just nope. Nope. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And like, don't get me wrong. When I'm home alone and I'm cleaning and I go pee, if I'm cleaning and like doing dusty stuff, I probably won't wash my hands right after I've peed to like do other things. But if I'm in a public fucking restroom, if I'm about to eat food, if I'm going to shake someone's hand, if I'm going to do anything sexy, like wash, 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 wash. Plus, I wash my hands like 500 times a day. My skin is so dry because of my cat, because of the dust, because of germs. I'm blowing my nose constantly. I am always washing my hands. But legit, so many of my female friends in public places will go to the bathroom with me and not wash their hands. And again, I'm like, I tried one time. One time I called one of my girlfriends out like 10 years ago and I never did it again because people don't want to hear that they are gross. But like, frankly, if you don't wash your hands, do you wash your pussy? That's the question. Bon. I don't think I can wash this shit. <laughs> Shout out to Skip Amazing. Yeah, this was a really fun hangout date. What is this, by the way? Was this a date? She's like, uh, this was amazing, fantastic, a lovely evening that was uh, dinner. But was it a date? I would say this may have been the most fabulous after 10 p.m. excursion that I've ever engaged. But was this a I use my feet like a like a champ in a public restroom. I basically never touch anything with my hands. I touch everything with my shoes. I'm sorry. I'm not touching anything with my hands. And like, unless the sink itself, usually. But even the door on the way out, I try to grab a paper towel. I also do that. Who said that? Somebody said that. Miss Illegal, uh, Legally Ataku. Yes. Like, I do that too, where I like, I like wash my hands. I like use the toilet paper usually for the door. Or I use my foot to kick open the door. Because again, I look, you, some nights, maybe I'm drunk and I care less. Maybe I'm high, I care less. Some days I'm not perfect. But generally speaking, all I can imagine is all the creepy crawly bugs on everything. Like, all I see everywhere is like, my dad is such a germaphobe like not too bad but like he won't go to movie theaters because he's like nah and like the last time he went he took hand sanitizer and just like sanitize because he nah it's just like people are disgusting humans are animals i'm telling you we are not special the date <sighs> like i feel like that's how like attention in her face so it's just like get me out of this motherfucker and he said give me a kiss right here Hi, I'm Skippy. And I'm Tani. And Tani and I are... 
Can I be real? I think women who hang out with Skippy are bitches. Like, why do these women all hang out with Skippy when he's, like, internet famous? We have all know what he's up to. Oh, fall of 2012. Okay, so maybe this was previous his internet days. But come on, women. You know when you're hanging out with a guy who's obviously interested in you and you're not into him. Why do you let him take you out and buy you things, you fucking sluts? Don with the 6969 super chat. Let's go. Bisexuals everywhere unite for our queen. Hey, girl, thank you so much for the great content and the great calls. Always uh, asking the right questions and helping me seek my joy. Join Patreon people. Highly recommend. Um, I absolutely did not brainwash her into putting that in. But thank you, cult member nine, number 69. Thank you. We appreciate you. We, we appreciate you. But literally, what do you guys think about? Okay, let's be real. Let's like stop. Okay. What are women's obligations when dealing with men that they obviously know like them, but they're being like, there was a guy. I've done that a lot in my 20s. There were men that I would be really blunt with. And then I would be like, do you just want to have a flirtation relationship and like maybe sex? But I don't know. But they were like, we would have those. And sometimes they wouldn't go anywhere. And sometimes like we didn't really have like the chemistry I wanted. And it's not like I'm a prude. You know what I mean? I'll have sex with somebody I like. If I like you and I'm attracted to you, I have no problem having sex with you. I don't need many requirements to having sex with people. If I like you as a person and especially a friend, and I'm attracted to you. That's basically all the requirements I need. Plus STI testing, obviously, and consent-based relation, like, di- uh, d- um, negotiation, okay? So, obviously, all those stuff are important. But I, I try really hard that if I'm dealing with somebody that I think likes me more than I like them, I'm usually like, hey, like, this is what's going on. But I only do that because I feel really bad. Like, leading people on, I really don't want people to be led on. And so I just... I guess, like, do do we think the women are responsible for how they handle Skippy? Like, are they pity dating him? I don't, this is why I hate pity. I hate pity. Don't do things out of pity. So how do you guys, how do you guys feel about the women and are they responsible for how Skippy relates to them? Friends. Woo! She moved away, too. She moved away. Golly. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. Skippy was going on a date with American Sniper. The oh. way she gave him a headshot, Shoot. that my friends was a confirmed kill. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, look at the smile she said. Yeah, I think these women use Skippy to feel pretty about themselves because they're average women like the rest of us are. And so they just use these men to feel good about themselves. And I think the men use them to feel good about themselves sometimes. Like, I think depending on the scenario, we're all, like, using each other to feel good about ourselves. And so I think that's why it's so important to, like, know why you're getting into a relationship. Why are you flirting? Why are you leading Skippy on? You know what I mean? Like, he's obviously fucking neurodivergent. And he's obviously, like, I don't like it. Ingrid says these girls are enablers. Yeah, there's something about it I don't like. Like, it's not being clear, you know? And it's not fair to Skippy. And it's also not fair to them that with and the quickness with she said friends yeah fill in the blanks oh she filled it in all right before you fuck around and say something stupid i don't like Mm. but we're more than friends though to you see why would you hang around with a guy that says we're more than friends are you hanging out with a freaking psycho like do you get what i'm saying these girls cannot be around hanging around with a dude that goes that she knows oh he likes me more than i like him Unless those women are, like, using him, which is fine. Like, be you insecure bitches can all spend time with each other. But I can't. Like, I I don't have time for this. My life is so short, guys. I'm dying. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. But, again, validation seeking. Valid- In my 20s, I mostly just hang out at house parties and made out with random people. And, like, flirted my way with many people. And that felt pretty good. Um, but we all kind of hung out every weekend. So we were all friends. I don't know. I... I don't know. I've never had a one night stand and not that I'm against it. I think it's fine. Whatever you do, you. But um, I don't like these like pulling people along relationships. I don't like that. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, Skippy, uh, Izzy says, I think Skippy pushes a ton and lots of girls choose politeness, even if our gut tells us otherwise, for sure. I think a lot of that is that as well. Like they don't want to hurt his feelings. They don't want to punch down. But I think I, okay, I do this thing because I have some callers that are like, very high on like they're very much on the spectrum and they're very they struggle a lot and uh a couple in particular need a lot of boundary setting and I'm again I am more than we're wor- wor- willing to work around people's neurodivergency but my rule of thumb is to treat people like adults no matter how neurodivergent they are with compassion so I usually say like 
I usually dress appropriately or I try to help them um, with their social like disadvantages, I guess. But I I try to put the responsibility on them while being a good community member. So let's say I have a caller that gets distracted by my tits because I'm, you know, I dress in low cut shirts sometimes. I'll wear like a, this kind of sweater instead. So one, helps them with their distractions because it happens. And this happens to all kinds of people, right? Like Farm Brother said, he gets like very like into temptation when he sees like naked female bodies and because of his religion he can't actually do the thing I did which is hang out in nudist colonies and desensitize myself to nudist bodies or nude bodies because he's religious right so he's never going to gain the tool to actually have a real relationship with the nude body and that sucks but that's bubbles what are you going to do boo-boos okay and we all live in bubbles so it doesn't matter we all have our shortcomings so 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 what's his name Skippy lives in this like reality where women know there's something going on with him. So they don't want to be too rude to him, but they also treat him like a child while seeking validation from him. So I feel like I would say, hey, Skippy, do you want to be friends with me or do you want to be more than friends? And he'd say more than friends. And I'd say, Skippy, I'm not interested in you in that way. And actually being your friend doesn't sound that great either if you don't know how to be friends with people platonically. And if you can't be friends with people platonically of the opposite sex, that's fine. You should hang out with a bunch of guys. Here are a bunch of male groups you can hang out with. Like, I swear, if you have unique, like, limitations that's fine but you have to put the responsibility on yourself so you're not having issues with other people like we live in a society right but I think that takes a lot of introspection and knowing and it's really hard to have that conversation like these women who are seeking validation from Skippy and or being overly polite to him they're just like unsure they're unsure of what to do and I've been here we've all been here we're always going to be here we're all going to have moments like this for the rest of our lives what do we do what do we do what do we do you either cut them off or talk it through. There's only too many, like so many things you can do with a person like Skippy or like a person, like any person, right? Um, okay. Oh, I forgot we were watching Abba and Preach. <coughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Guys. It ain't just what she said. It's how quickly she said it and how much she didn't give a fuck how he took it. We have gone to what I call second and a half base because if third base is oral, we never got to that point. No. And why didn't we get to that point? Because I stopped. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I'm 34 years old and I'm still a virgin. Yeah. And you're how old? 32. She's 32. And are you still a virgin? No. No. But, uh, see, for me, that... Is this girl dumb and just pretty? Like, what is happening? I, what is this conversation? It, it doesn't matter. No. I'm 32. Like, what is this voice? Me, that you're not a virgin, because I don't look at us going on dates as a way for me to try and have sex with you. I look at us going on dates because... I really adore you, and I would love... She loves that shit. Look, she loves that shit. If we could be dating, and then after dating, be in, like, a full-blown relationship that That's typically how marriage. it goes. Okay, so that's usually how and it goes. And then, after we get married, then I would love to oh. put my daddy parts in your mommy part. And Ooh, okay. That's... Oh, okay. Um, is Skippy religious? Is he Christian? Why isn't he having sex before marriage? And, and there you go. That's the reason why you're a virgin. But also, wait, so this girl fooled around with Skippy and then said, we're just friends, which is true. It's true. I do sleep with my friends. So wait, to be clear, this is why I think negotiation and consent and conversation is so important. Everybody read The Ethical Slut, you fucking sluts. It's literally such an easy fucking book to read. You move through it so fucking quickly. And it like, it has all the basics for what you need to be thoughtful about your sluttiness and or just take what you can and vomit the rest out. If you don't like it perfectly, don't. But how could this girl fool around with him, be sexual with him, and then not make it clear that, like, yes, I want to have friends with benefits. It's not that hard. Friends with benefits, lovers, poly, open, find whatever word you feel comfortable with and pick it. But, like, bro, oh, he's Mormon. Interesting. Yeah, so in that case, he shouldn't be doing nothing. Like, that's what I'm saying. If he's Mormon, shouldn't they be doing nothing other than soaking? And even that's a no-no? Like, they shouldn't even be doing anything. This is so... 
I put I put responsibility on the women too though because like if you know he's religious you know he's looking for a wife like why are you even fooling around unless you've told him friends with benefits again though this could be another way of negotiating as well what do you think it also says about these women that they want to be on um they want to be on camera well Skippy asks them these questions isn't that interesting there's a lot of people that have different reasons to be a virgin huh? hold on hold on see we're here we're here you're gonna be all right you're gonna be all right there's a lot of people there's not a reason why people are virgins um, you know, for different reasons. That, that you, you're good. You're good. You're doing good. You're doing. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. Huh? Um, <laughs> uh, but the fact that you call it mommy parts and that <laughs> super weird, super weird. <laughs> but you know, you do you. Whatever makes you. Whatever makes you horny. Whatever makes you horny. Yo, yo, I'm not even lying. Low key. Next time I'm about to get in, I want to say that. Oh, yeah, you want this big in your mommy parts? <laughs> you want my daddy parts in your mommy parts? I just want to see the reaction. I'm about to put that. I'm about to. What would I do? What would we do? What would I do? Look, I've had partners in my mice. I myself have tried to be sexy in bed. I've tried to attempt to do things that didn't quite go over so well. And it's usually just like an awkward laugh. And you're like, okay, <laughs> awkward. But like, what would I do if there, I guess, if, you know, as a pre-negotiated, I could do it because it's like a part of a scene. But if it's like not negotiated, it's like, I think it would throw me for a loop. But if it was negotiated, I think I could do it. Like, I think I could do it. Like, hey, babe, I want to do a scene where I put my daddy parts in your mommy parts. I'd be like, okay, that's like. I mean, I like daddies and I like mommies. It, it feels too familiar, like family to me. I, I don't like to sexualize family like very much. Like, uh, I'm the father of your children. Like, I'm not really into that so much, though. I mean, I get it. But yeah, mommy and daddy parts sounds like there's a kid involved, which puts my brain into like, are we making a family versus like, I'm your daddy or I'm your mommy and I'm going to like treat you like a bad little girl. Like, that's different. You feel? To destroy your mommy parts. Hey guys, guys, guys. Uh, yeah. uh, all the people watching at home right now who get some, all, right? all you virgins who don't got nobody in your life, just stay quiet. We don't even, but the people who get some, when you're about to get on with your partner, I want you to say it, okay? I'm about to enter your mommy part. Okay, I'll say that when I'm with my partner. I'll make sure that I'm the daddy, though, in that scenario. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I have a kiss even though no, you got... He, he kisses... He, you kiss can I kiss? Anyway. Can I kiss your <gasps> bottom lip? Yeah. I what? It's not diseased. No, I, I know, because the, the upper one. <laughs> you want to kiss my bottom lip? On camera? Yeah, I totally do. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, are you going to enjoy it? <laughs> okay, try it, try it. As much enjoyment as you can for me kissing your bottom. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so you want me to enjoy this? Try to. Okay. The bottom. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> <We're really doing laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> that kind of tickled. Get it? Yeah. Okay, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're back to crazy. You're back to crazy. I'm sorry. Did Abba change his shirt? Wait, is this a new back, video? Back, right back. Is this old? But you were doing good, and then whoop, right back. You see, trust your instinct. The video I think is from 2012. It's ancient, but he was 34 then. There's no way he's in his 40s now. Ugh. Oh, Izzy, Izzy, you and I are thinking the same thought. Is she like in an non-offensive way dumb? I think she's stupid. I think she's just like dumb. So I think she's, I think Skippy gets dumb women to play along with his thing. But like, it's, it's got to, like, there's no way, like, I'm trying to think of all the, I've kissed a lot of people in my life. So I'm trying to think of like, and kissing is hard for me. I'm always awkward when I first kiss somebody. Um, you know, you're learning their lips and how they work. It's like she wants the validation and attention, but she's not giving to Skippy. Like, I feel like the best parts of fucking your friends is that you guys get to, like, hang out, talk about anime, play video games, and then make out. And, like, actually have sex and have fun. But she's not even really into, like, I would, I embrace my friends. When I make out with my friends, I'm fully into it. I'm sexually attracted to my friends that I'm, again, if I'm sexually attracted to you 
and I like your vibe. Sure, why wouldn't we have sex? If I'm not sexually attracted to you, like, obviously it's off the table. But, like, I have to be into you, too. Like, the personality you are. So, like, she doesn't give me that. None of the girls who are ever with Skippy and give me any vibe that they want to be there for any other reason than validation. It's just weird. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Ah, dumb women need love, too, for sure. I just think, yeah, this is a great example of you can be these people or not. Like, have you seen that movie, The People We Hate at a Wedding or The Wedding? I just watched it again with my friend and I love it so much. It's like a great progressive without being progressive movie. I really like it. And it's like a great normie movie for like kind of like introducing new progressive ideas without being obnoxious. That's why I like it. So um, it's really basic. But yeah, like it's the in the film, there's like always those people at the wedding you remember, the people you talk about for years. All of us are those people in some time in our life. Some of us live a life where we're like, People are looking at us like, oh, my God, you're those people. Skippy is that guy. She is that girl. And that's what I'm saying. It's like we're all that to some extent. Like I've been, oh, my God, like, ooh, Bernie's being that girl. But not that girl, like a different, like an SJW or like, a, oop, there's the girl with the blue hair and the nose piercing who's fat. That was definitely me at one point in my life. And so this is like, this is a ver like a trope I do not like. Inside, you killed Abba. Oof. That's what you did. The craziness killed Abba, and mm. I said crazy, and I felt it, and I was like, oh yeah, when you that was said so that, weird. oh, there's a lot of undertones that so in that weird. shit. That sounds weird. Like you know what I mean? So it's weird. It's all weird. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. Got flashbacks of people I know that act like that, and mm. my bad. Ew, you like drooled. <laughs> And uh, Abba's having a stroke. Uh, hack number one. That's the one. Love you. But not until then. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the most. Uh, amazing girl I've ever met, though. Why does have his head like, clipped you, off? Uh, you genuinely are one of my favorite people that I've ever known in my entire life, and uh, the hurdle in our relationship is you are dating other guys. Yeah, of course. No, the hurdle in her y'all relationship is that. I'm sorry, is Abba doing like a? Are they switching? Are we watching old clips and new clips? What is this video? What is happening with this timeline? It's your friend, because she's not interested in you. Not that she's dating other dudes. Because if she's dating other dudes, she's dating you, and she really liked you, she would choose you or the other guys. But she don't want to, because you, you ain't shit. You and I just want to appreciate, guys. Ugh. The things that Skippy is, are saying aren't necessarily not beautiful, minus the money part. Of that. They actually are. Is that when they come from him, they mean nothing. No. Yeah. Because. The same way, guys, yeah. if a whore came up to you and said, yo, you want this, buzzy, you would be like, brother, get that shit out of here. But when a woman that you're actually interested in, you go on some dates, offers to sleep, that's exciting. You're sexy, right? Because you know that there was a buildup process, that this was earned through actual interaction and who you are and not just a virtue of like someone's job or some patheticness of like, right. I need some crack. Fuck me. You know what I mean? It's nothing like that. So... That's what Skippy is. <laughs> I need some crack. Some pussy crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be like, he's that's like what Skippy lead. is. Screw it. Like, he's a, a pussy crackhead. crackhead. <laughs> you know, some people still like that because they're, they're a little fucked up, but like, they want AIDS or whatever. But that's what Skippy is. He's a yeah. crackhead he's a, he's to women. Crack. Yeah. He's that unappealing. Like, hi, 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 hi. Hi, Jackson. Yo, you no, know, you're super cool, man. You're cool, man. You're really cool. Like, I really like you yeah. and everything and stuff. Jackson, more that crack. And those, that's Skippy. That's him. And don't say the most extreme stuff just to get, to get you. Like, oh, yeah. Crazy, bro. You're the most amazing person. I was like, sorry, but you're tweaking. Skippy is tweaking. You're one of the my, my favorite person I've ever met, like, once or twice. I didn't actually do anything amazing. You're just so fucking pathetic. And you've never managed to bond with people that the minimum amount of I showed you, you went crazy. It's not about me. It's about the fact that you're a loser. That's what it's about. To be honest, <sighs> there's like a really sad part to this though. Uh, I hate this. Cause like, Nah, okay. 
Well, mm. what is true for you won't be true for someone else, right? So there is like a, it's weird. I wouldn't be able to work with Skippy. I think he'd be too difficult to work with because I think he would fight me on everything and I think he wouldn't really want to change. But I do work with some people that really struggle with dating. But I think no matter if you're neurodivergent or not, the one consistent thing I see out of all people is they think they're owed love. They think they're owed companionship. They think they're owed a relationship. They think they're owed friends. They think that they don't have to earn their way into like making sure that you're having a symbiotic relationship. Skippy doesn't earn his friendships. He gets them out of pity, which is like sad. But also I don't care because he's so rude that a part of me can't handle it. Like he's not exactly consent based, right? Like he's definitely that guy who hugs you when you don't want to be hugged. Um, And then eventually he becomes that guy that you just let hug you because you don't know what to do. He's so retarded. You're like, I just don't know what to do with this person. So there's like something to be said about um, like how we're going to interact with real human beings. And I think that's why life is so like complicated, but simple, simply consent should matter and everyone should be forthcoming and just say, yeah, I'm not really that into you. But because people like to lie and then people like to, I don't know, what are they doing? Are they seeing it where it goes? Are they winging it? Are they negotiating? Was this talked about? Why are they talking about it on camera? Why does she seem like it's new to her, but like they fooled around? You know what I mean? Like there's something happening where they're like, they're like talking past each other. And I think it's because they're getting different things out of this relationship, but it's not symbiotic. It's not like they're both getting something out of it that's good and understood and harmonious. It's like they're both on different wavelengths and they're trying to have a friendship. Like she acted earlier like they'd never fooled around. Like, why would we be more than friends? Uh, ma'am, you almost went to third base. You would have gone to third base, ma'am, if you didn't stop you. So you're obviously friends who fuck at least, which is something. You know, I don't fuck all my friends, but I fuck some of my, I used to fuck some of my friends. I'm monogamous now. But like, I understand that. I'm not like, yes. So you are friends. But your friends who do stuff and he wants to only do stuff with people he marries. So why are you doing like I would never do sexual stuff with somebody that was an, under any illusion that they could marry me. Like that's why I and men do that, by the way. All the fuck buddies I've had, men or women, begged me for a relationship after. And then I did date them. And that's why all three of my adult relationships sucked. They all start off as fuck buddies. That turned into people being like, date me, Brittany, date me, we're perfect. I was like, I feel like we're not compatible. But then you go along with it because you feel like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we are compatible. And then you end up in a horrible breakup. That was my story. But like, you know, it's like if you don't know yourself enough to communicate, I get it. You have to learn. But like, aren't they in their 30s? Ugh, I guess it's never too late. I've met people in their 90s who are still figuring it out. So that's fine. But like, I, I don't like either of them. I think both of them are the same. I think both of them deserve each other. Let me say it like that. And yet I'm trying uh, to be exclusive. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't want to be exclusive. Fair. So I don't can't. fuck around with Skippy. Or, she or, just can't, or she, maybe she's really out here in these streets. Or, hey, listen, when a dude's beating her back out and giving her that good D, I bet you anything she's down to be exclusive. Hey, man, you know what? Someone put me on this not long ago. She said, listen, Ab, when you out here, you have to know there's different types of dicks. I was like, what? That's okay. Don't tell me that. Does this volume get really low? There's some man who got boyfriend dick. I was like, what's that? He was like, it's the kind of penis that you definitely want to make your boyfriend because it's that consistently good. And what I'm trying to say, guys, is if you got that, they're not trying to go left, right, and center. Because when women find something that's really good, they want to go there consistently because going out with random dudes oftentimes ends up in bad sex. Totally. So if you got it good. That's true. You got that boyfriend. And ladies, am I lying? Is no, a that's true. Boyfriend D? There is boyfriend Let me D. Know in the yeah. There is boyfriend D. Ugh. Yeah, there is. The one fuck buddy that wanted to date me, but then I told him absolutely not. We had a rough patch for a little while. Like he was mad at me for a bit, even though I told him I negotiated with him. And that's the thing. The good thing about negotiation is really for you to say, ah, I did my work, bitch. I got my STI tests. I made sure, blah, blah, blah. So that way when she hits the fan, at least you did everything you could, right? That's how I think. Like be safe, blah, blah, blah. You know, risk aware kink. Like be open to the consequences and like what you're open to on your own, like within your own self. So like I negotiated with this guy. I told him I want to fuck you for two weeks and then I want to stop. I've never had sex before. I want to have sex with you. I um, hope this is okay. This is what I would like to do. And he was like, okay. So we did it. Had sex for two weeks. It was great. We had a lot of fun. Some bad, some good. Like not the sex, just like the situation. I was like renting a room. It was awkward. Um, 
we'd hang out. We were friends before for like a long time. We were friends enough time. We worked together. We'd go to Disneyland. We'd hang out all the stuff. And then two weeks later, he was like, okay, we dating now. Right. And I was like, what? No. And he was like, wait, really? Because most girls in his bubble would say things like, oh, we're just going to have sex. I don't want to date you and want to date after. But I'm not that girl. I was always the girl that was fine having sex without the boyfriend. Like I didn't need the boyfriend or the girlfriend after. Like I just didn't need it. But I don't think people are like that. I think people get used to like good sex and then they want a relationship for the good sex. And then they think, well, we like each other. We're friends. Let's just keep dating. But like I tell my friends, I love you all. But like even if we have good sex, like what does that matter? Right. If like we're not compatible for a full on relationship, the kind I would like. So, again, I'm not sex shaming anyone. Have as much sex as you want, guys. Have the exact relationship you want. But I think Skippy, if he knew what he really wanted, he would just date nice Mormon girls who don't want to suck his dick. Right. Like she's obviously not a nice Mormon girl. She's a slut. Stop dating sluts, Skippy. I heard. I don't know. There's 7-Eleven D. Convenience store. Oh, true. So the convenience store. True. Like a butterfly that has supersonic speed and cannot be caught. Yeah, I'm a butterfly. I Izzy thinks she's um mentally or intellectually disabled, which is interesting. And maybe we don't see it in women um as much. Maybe she is very pretty, but she seems very dumb. So she's either intellectually disabled or she's got just like a very limited understanding of life maybe oop autumn rain good point mormon girls are the kinkiest i've ever met you know what girl i'm not gonna argue with that it'd be that way sometimes I can't be you're like sonic the the hedgehog and whoa autumn whoa autumn says i know so many mormon girls with fart kinks <sighs> that's a hard limit for me but i appreciate their openness and a butterfly if they mated. <laughs> and I occasionally get kiss. She could be neurodivergent as well, Kai. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah, that it's hard to, it's, it's hard to pounce. Yes. Nail me down. It's yeah. Like, I... <clears throat> yes, because you are, you... They do seem like children. Like, they do seem like they're still in middle school a little bit. Oh my god, that's so interesting. Do you think these are the pretty girls the Menosphere guys meet and they're like, they're so dumb? And I was like, is this the girls they're talking about? One way non-bride. Yeah. 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 I won't commit. Which is very difficult but if I, I want to ever him. lose my virginity. Oh, no, she still loves no, him. No, 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 mama. No, no, no. Not the one that you can tell a crackhead that. No, no. You can't tell a crackhead you got crack. You can't tell a crackhead you got crack. And expect them to leave you alone. Damn. The thing that happened is this, Mama. I th is he paying for the dates? No. Oh, is the he paying for the dates? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he's paying for all the dates. I don't know. Because she's not, she not going there. Exactly. I, I think if she's, she's a flirty person. She's yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I don't just want to lose my virginity for the sake of it. I want to lose it to you because I adore you. And I feel that <clears> very strong L word towards you. I know. She's a very strong oh, no. L word towards love. You. you can't say love, L -word. dumbasses. Say... Oh my god! You know what? And I get it. It's like when a girl pulls away. Sometimes guys think the best thing to do is to rush head first. It's like no, they pull in away. Sometimes you gotta give them that space to make them realize they need you. But the more you try to hold on and grab on and say you're not going anywhere, I love you, and blah, 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 all this other stuff, the more they become disgusted and revolted by you because it seems like you're desperate. Sometimes you gotta just give them the space. Okay, honestly though, the, the, the well, hold up. The way the way Skippy in this video is explaining himself, I think is pretty forthcoming. Hey, I don't want to have sex with you just because I. Well, maybe it's more like I don't want to have like it's a little bit. It's not as blunt. It's like, look, I don't want to have sex with you just because I want to have sex with you. I want to have sex with you because I feel like you know the L word, like love. Like I feel kind of love towards you, so I don't want to go down this route with you. He should have just. The problem is, and this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I would do in my 20s. I would compromise on my own values and date people that were obviously not compatible with me. And then in my 30s, I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that anymore. So first date. Hi, how do you feel about marriage? And if I got this girl on a date, I'd be like, next. That's it. Next. She doesn't want to be committed. She doesn't want to have marriage. Next. Like, it's, I'm not going to hunt you down. I'm not going to be your fucking fix you up therapist. I'm not going to fucking save you from your fucking life. Okay. Know what you want so we can get married or not. But like. I wouldn't even entertain this. 
The fact that Skippy is entertaining it is always the thing that I see in the world that I hate, which is like, yes, do that if you would like, but it's not as efficient as it could be. And maybe I'm being a little like robotic about love, but I think love is a like job application on one side. It's the, it's like not the va-va-voom, that's the sex stuff, but like the resume is a job application. Do you qualify for this job? And then if you do, great are we sexually compatible? Or, hey, I'm really fucking into you. Do you qualify for this job? It's like, look, you have to have both, I feel, in my relationship to have success, which I have. Like, that's what I felt like I needed. So I was going on all these dates. And just like Skippy, it was like, yeah, I'm attracted to you, but you don't fit the resume. So it's like, okay, well, that's it. But people think, oh, well, they'll change. They'll grow into a different person. I can live for their their future self. I can hope that they'll be different, blah, blah, blah. That's great. But dating for your potential, like dating for the potential, I think is what leads to so many breakups and divorces, which is why I'm such a negotiator. But again, that's just me. But I had a friend tell me that where like for a lot of people, she feels like they just date the the potential. And I do that too. I always end up dating the potential of my partner, which is why I tried to do it different this time around, which is to say like, can I love this person as they are right this moment? And the answer is yes. Versus in the past, it was like, I do love you, but I'm going to need you to change to get married to you. Like I always said that to my past partners. I love you, but I need you to change before I marry you because the person you are now is not conducive with the father of my children. I can't be proud that you're going to be the father of my children, right? Like you don't treat me well, so why are you going to treat them well? And I was patient. I let people walk all over me sometimes because I had this hope that they would change. But that's the thing is like, is it a part of your actual value system? You know what I'm saying? Or is it not? And it's that that's a, you know what I get. Oh, no more. Yes. Autumn, no more dating for potential. Let's go. Ooh. Um, and these are they're in their 30s in this video. He's 34 right now and she's 32. Right. So they're in they're my age right now in this video, which is kind of insane. Right. Kind of crazy. I love the style of going out on dates. It's worked out so well for me. Oh, really? Like being the more like cutthroat about it I guess you know they always say women are always leading me on and men always lead me on and it's like yeah you guys are leading on each other by not just saying I'm never gonna fucking date you you literally don't qualify you fucking loser or just saying dude I'm never gonna date you you literally believe in a god like I'm out I don't want to play this game where he's such a good person but he believes in god and he goes to fucking whatever every week and when we have LGBT kids we'll worry about it then no worry about it now before you've had those kids you might not have holy fuck Plan something, plan something, you know, be or be a free spirit and be in that bubble, I guess, whatever you do, you, but free spiritedness, I feel like is so much for me to handle. I can't even, I can't, I have anxiety thinking about it because you end up running into situations where like you're on completely different pages. I don't know. It's too strange for me. Oh, he's getting his answer right here. Like, just listen to this woman. She's not, she's not good for you. I don't know. It's insane. No, it's an open space. But him doing this desperate stuff when she's already said repeatedly she's not, she's becoming less interested in him by the second. All right, that's all I can watch, bro. Okay, she's not so, interested um, in him anyways. Hey, man, the reason why I play these videos, so if you guys are watching and if you see any of this behavior in yourselves, hopefully you learn and don't <laughs> Exactly. Don't do it. 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 Uh, anything you want to say? No. I don't think so. Damn. That was, that was, oh, damn. In my head, in real life I'm in bed My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah Sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool.